So when we're working with the clean architecture, we shouldn't actually depend from a API, a gateway or a REST API, anything like that directly. They shouldn't depend directly on a chat service, the implementation class. They should depend on an interface. So I would like to build an iChat service interface that I could depend on instead of actually depending on the service here, which uh, I do right now. This is sadly not simple right now in TypeScript because when you're working with TypeScript, you cannot just use interfaces like this and set up dependency injection in a module like you do in C Sharp, for instance. You have to do a bit more work, but still it's worth the effort in my mind because it makes testing a lot simpler. So let's try and do it and just follow along. A lot of things going to happen right here and I'm going to try and explain it as well as I can on our journey to get to the end of this. First of all, I need an iChat service. That's where we could start, that's easy. So I'll go down to the core and I'll call it the primary ports. That's where I'm going to put all my communication, the entrance like a gateway from the API down to the core. That's going to be through the primary ports. That's the only connection we're going to have. So we're going to know about these interfaces and that's the direction we're going to go when we need to work with the core of our application. So here I'm going to create a new file and let's just call it chat service interface. There we go. I'm going to export an interface called iChat service. <clears throat> now this iChat service is going to contain pretty much every method I have in here. So let's just, I'm just going to copy everything like this. I'm going to put everything in here and then I'm just going to remove everything that's not just a method signature. Pretty much meaning I'll remove everything that's implementation code, everything that's actually written for solving these problems logically, right, in the code. So I'll get rid of this guy, I'll get rid of this guy. I only have the method signatures left in the interface. That's kind of how an interface works. So we'll get rid of this guy, we'll get rid of this guy. So there we go, now all the method signatures are actually in here. Now I want to kind of take that interface and just start extending the chat service with that interface. So I'll do it in here, I'll go in here and I'll just paste this in here and there we go. Now that's all available and of course it needs to be implements right here. There we go, implement chat service. I'll import the chat service. And if this was the good old um, C sharp code, we only had to do one more thing and we would actually be done. But there's a bit more work since TypeScript actually when that's compiled, it's going to be compiled into JavaScript. And you know what, JavaScript doesn't have interfaces. So we have to find another solution in order to make this work inside TypeScript that's being compiled to JavaScript. Let's try and jump into the interface. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to export a little helper to kind of explain that we're looking for this specific iChat service interface right here. So I'm going to kind of do an export and I'm going to add a thing here called iChat service provider. And that's going to be a way for me to, how should I say, reference between these two guys right here. So we're going to use that to kind of trick the system into thinking that I'm an interface. We're going to just set it equal to a string and I just want to call it the same thing, iChat service provider right here, just to have a unique name. This name needs to be unique right here. I cannot call it iChat service, it needs to be a unique name. With this in place, I can now actually go to my module and I can actually change because the problem right now is there's no, the chat service is not being used anywhere. This is where we set up our dependency injection pretty much. You've probably seen that maybe in the C Sharp courses I did earlier. Um, so what I'll do is here I'll set up a new provider and the way I do it is I'm going to do two things. I'm going to set up the provider who's going to provide and that's going to be our chat service provider that we just built, iChat service provider. There it is. I want to do the, use that as the provider and I'll do a comma and then what's the class I'm going to use when I see this provider and the class I want to use when I see the provider is going to be the chat service. So again, it might look like a lot of work with, with a little um, return of investment, right? But the reason that we're doing this is we want to be ready to do testing later on. And it's a lot easier to do testing when you kind of separate your classes and use interfaces to separate the concern between the classes. So let's go back to the gateway. That's all we're missing right now because now we have a provider with a very specific name right here. We need to use that provider now inside our chat service right here to kind of start explaining that it's going to be a very specific I chat service, it's going to be injected. So we'll do an add inject right here. And then we need to actually specify who is injecting this guy to our service. So I'll put in in the inject, I'll put in the name of that I chat service 
provider here in the inject. There we go. I'll import this guy. There we go. And I'll just remove the private because that should be after like this. There we go. So we just did a bit of cleanup right here and that's pretty much all we had to do, right? I know there was a lot of things, a lot of steps and it might be very hard for you to read this uh, the first time you see it. But again, it's important to start using interfaces even though you're working with TypeScript in my mind because it makes it easier for you to do unit testing. It makes it easier for you to do separation. It makes it easier for you to do the contracts and what a service should actually be able to do before you even start implementing the actual service code right here. So there's a lot of uh, good things that you get from actually doing this. And again, you just need to learn the trick on how you can actually start using these providers. Because later on, if I wanted to switch out the chat service with something else, it would be very easy for me to do. And that's really, really neat, especially when we're talking about testing. Again, just a quick recap. First thing I did was create an interface and the interface kind of put in all the signatures for each method I wanted to be available for a service. I also export this chat service provider right here, the constant symbol string. The reason I do it is because there's no such thing as interfaces in JavaScript right now. So if I don't have this provider right here, I'm not able to actually create dependency injection with TypeScript like I can do right now. So that's why I have this guy in there as well. They're kind of bound together. So I know that this guy is for the chat service. That's, but I still need both in order to make this work where I could do it differently in C Sharp, for instance. Next thing that I did was I kind of went into the service and started using this chat service, meaning that again, if I'm missing methods in here, I'm starting to be informed now that you're missing a method. So you need to kind of add that method in order to call yourself an iChat service. When that was done, I went into the module and I set up this provider right here. And again, that's to do dependency injection. I add the provider name and then the class that I want to use when I see this provider name right here. And now that means that when I see the iChat service provider injected into any class now, I know that it's going to use the chat service, right? And the final thing I did was in the gateway, instead of actually explaining that this chat service right here is the type of chat service, it's going to be the type of iChat service. And by doing that and using this injection, everything will now work as we expect, as we would expect to see this if it was dependency injection. And for instance, C sharp, I also see the same in Java. So we have the same flow now. So even though you switch languages, you can see the same backend, you can see the same type of code, everybody should be happy.